morning welcome back um i decided well you guys decided actually that we were going to do a little morning routine today i did a poll on my instagram asking if you guys want a night routine or morning routine and last time i checked less things have changed but we don't look at our phone in the morning <laughs> you guys wanted a morning routine so if you guys ever want to participate, I'm going to start doing that more, like asking you guys what kind of videos you want on YouTube or on Instagram. You can go follow me on Instagram because um, I want to like do stuff that you guys want to see. Anyway, I'm so tired. I just woke up. I honestly have not been sleeping well lately, which is like not normal for me. I think I've had a lot of just anxiety I guess my nose ring fell out it's been falling out every single night when I sleep um but I think like I've been having a lot of trouble falling asleep and then like pretty restless sleep itself and like a lot of nightmares I don't know why um but I guess I've just been like stressed so anyway it is 8 30 um on a Thursday so I don't have class this morning so I'll do another morning routine. If you guys want to see a morning routine next week of morning when I have class, we'll do that. Sorry, I probably should have filmed one when I had class this week, but I just, things have been crazy and I didn't. So we're filming it on Thursday. I have class only Monday through Wednesday this semester, which is so nice. But <sighs> anyway, I thought it would be fun to film it today because it's supposed to snow, but it was supposed to be snowing already and now like, they it's raining and it might not even snow i thought we were gonna have like a cute snowy morning i'm really bummed out um but yeah i feel really tired right now um so that's awesome i woke up to cleo she does this thing now where when she wants to be fed she just grabs all the jewelry out of my little jewelry bowl next to my nightstand and just slowly drops each piece to the floor so Anyway, I'm probably going to sit in bed for like just a little bit and read my book. I usually every morning like just to like kind of wake up well, just drink my water bottle and read for like 10 minutes before I actually get up just to get my brain moving, working and feel a little more awake. I honestly do not know if you guys can see me right now because I literally can't see you at all because I don't have contacts in but I keep this next to my bed at night every night and I fill it with ice water right before I go to bed and the hydro flask it like still is ice water in the morning and I don't usually drink that much before I go to bed like right before I go to bed so I always wake up with like a full thing of water and I don't know something about like it just makes it a lot easier to like hydrate and get moving when it's right next to my bed so I can read drink water from the comfort of my own bed for a little bit before I get up, which really helps. Usually if it's like a school morning, I can't really sit in bed as long, but when I don't make it up for school, but it's not the weekend, like I'm nodding myself go in weekend mode until tomorrow, like today I'm still treating it like a day where I'm gonna get stuff done because I do. Um, Thursday and Friday are like my social media work days where I like film all the brand deals. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. I guess maybe just about staying in bed longer. I don't know, but I just finished um, the last book I was reading last night, The Invitation. It was pretty good. Slow start, got better in the middle, and then I feel like they got a little lazy with the ending, but it was pretty good. Um, now I just started this book called The Last Flight. I'm like, 10 pages in. So I'm going to read this for a little bit. It got good, good reviews. It's not total snow yet, but it's definitely switching to snow. So I'm very happy. I hope this turns into a nice little snowstorm. Next thing I do whenever I wake up, as you'll see, it's 67 degrees. I like don't really totally get how to use this thermostat. So I just basically turn the heat off at night and turn it back on in the morning because I can't sleep. Like it has to be like 67, 68 degrees when I sleep. 
but it's obviously freezing once I wake up, so I just turn the heat back on once I wake up. I'm not going to the gym, but I am about to go to the gym right now. So I'm just going to put my contacts in and brush my teeth really quick. And then well, actually I'm going to have the lemon water before I brush my teeth and then I'll brush my teeth and then we will go to the gym. Oh, I can see in one eye. I literally, my vision is so bad. Like, so bad, it's gotten increasingly worse. But, like, I really, I cannot see without contacts, like, at all. Okay. My vision is back. I can officially see you guys. So, now we'll go have some lemon water, brush our teeth, and then head to the gym. I don't know if we're going to go. I've been going to my building's gym every day but i'm paying for equinox number one so i should be using it number two because i've been going to my building gym i literally have not gone outside for like four days which honestly might be contributing to my anxiety because i feel like it's not good to not breathe fresh not that the air is really fresh outside but it's probably not good to literally not go outside at all i haven't been outside since i honestly don't know the last time i was outside that's really bad. So I think we'll go outside today. I'm so happy. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like full blown snowing. The only reason I wish I woke up earlier now is because I wish that I could just like cozy up on the couch right now and enjoy the snow because it's only snowing for so long, which makes me actually maybe we should just go for a walk in the snow. The problem is the snow just looks kind of wet, but I think it's because it's still kind of rain like a second but it's supposed to switch to full blown snow so maybe we could just go for a walk in the snow we'll see I got this off Amazon I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger but I got it so that I can have lemon water every morning it's a little bit of a pain because you, I had to like de-seed all the lemons but now I have like such yummy lemon water without having to deal with squeezing the lemon which isn't a big deal but it's just like cold, fresh lemon water ready to go, which is so nice. This is definitely going to be something I start doing every morning now because I don't really drink coffee, as you guys know. I mean, I do sometimes. I honestly might even get a mocha today because I haven't gotten one for so long. But you guys know it gives me so much anxiety. It's like really snowing outside like crazy. I'm so happy right now. Um, but I haven't really been drinking coffee, especially with school starting. Um, just like it gives me anxiety, I already have so much anxiety, so, but lemon water honestly wakes you up so much, and just to have it like ready to go in this cute little carafe, is that how you say it? Carafe, I believe. Um, so easy. <sighs> okay, I'm going to drink this fast, and then I honestly don't know... If we're gonna go to the gym, I love walking in the snow. I just worry that the snow is a little bit too wet to be enjoyable right now. Like it looks a little bit too heavy. So I honestly don't know, but it'd be so nice. Just go for a little walk across the bridge or something. Ugh, I'm unsure guys. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep you updated on what happens. 
Also, I forgot to mention, I feel like I didn't mention it because I mentioned this in like every one of my vlogs, but this is the morning vlog, so I must say it again. Um, I have a no phone rule in the morning because my phone brings me so much anxiety for so many reasons and just gives me a headache. I feel like social media in general just brings upon anxiety. Again, it's so easy in the morning, like when you first wake up, to just scroll on your phone. And then I like get a migraine instantly from like looking at my phone too early in the morning. And then I feel like it just sets the tone for the day. Like if I start scrolling on my phone like a lot in the morning, then I feel like my whole day I spend like on my phone. I don't know how to explain it. It just always happens that way. So I try to make sure every morning not to be on my phone. Um because it just gives me anxiety. I feel like especially now that TikTok has definitely become a job, like I put too much value on the amount of likes and amount of growth that I've had overnight. And when I don't feel happy about like my growth or how a video did, I have like lately been considering that a reflection of myself, which is really bad and something I need to work on, but like that's just like if I don't look in the morning then I don't feel as bad if like I don't feel happy with like how a video did or whatever so yeah Leo's morning playtime is also very important because she wakes up like a crazy girl ready nice one Luna, on the other hand, is very much on do not disturb me mode this morning. Hi, cutie. I'm wearing a little set. I don't know if you can see. I'm wearing a little set from Set Active. Um, it's cute. It's blue. I got a medium in the top and small in the bottom. I'm conflicted now, guys, because I was literally, I was about to leave for the gym right now. Cause I was like the snow, it just looks too heavy. But I'm gonna check the weather because like now, they like get stopped from like you know when you can tell it's like a mix of rain and snow because it's like pouring down. Like now it's doing like the little floaty nice thing snow does. Also the creepiest thing just happened. I'm like really creeped out. <laughs> if it was nighttime, I'd be really creeped out. But my spot or my Google Home just goes now playing. Everybody talks on Spotify and like I looked at my Spotify and it was playing. Can someone explain how that happens because that's so creepy. I've never even listened to that song like on my own will before. I don't know that just weirded me out. Um, it says like a hundred percent snow right now so now I'm like should we just go out and enjoy the snow? instead and go for a walk. Mm. I guess we'll just go to the gym. Because I don't have a good audio book right now. And everything will probably get wet. Okay. Gotta be honest with you guys, I was very tempted, especially because of the weather. Even though I was just saying I want to go walk in it, um, to not go to the gym. Outside of my building, I was just gonna go to the one in my building because it is. Oh, my nose ring just fell out again. I just put a new one in. Hold on. Oh, God. This is why I buy this little pack on Amazon. It's like five, ten dollars and it has so many nose rings in it. And every time I lose one, which is very often, I just put a new one in. So they're very small and hard to see.
Okay, guys, I just got out of the shower. I don't like to wash my hair every day. So as you guys know, I usually just blow dry the sweat of my hair. But then it feels greasy and gross. So I came to a compromise. I now, starting today, actually, because I have, like, branded content to film and I want my hair to, like, look nice. I just rinse my hair to, like, rinse the sweat out. And then I'm just going to blow dry it. Oh, and then I put, like, a little bit of conditioner in the ends. So... That's what I'm doing. My hair literally falls out when I run my hands through it. That is law school for you. Stress. Um, but yeah, I am going to blow dry my hair right now, do my skincare, um, and then we will make breakfast. I should actually, I think we're gonna make baked oats this morning for breakfast. So maybe I should go preheat the oven before I blow dry my hair. But before I blow dry my hair, I guess we'll do skincare. Um, and the two products I put in my hair right now, which I used this combo when I was home at my parents' house, actually, because I got my mom the CC cream forever ago. I think it came, like, as a free gift, actually, at Ulta, and then I gave it to my mom. <laughs> and then I had, like, a little mini sample of this at my house. And I, like, mixed the two together, and my hair blow-dried so well. So then I, like, bought full sizes of them from here because I was like, I my hair never blow-dried that well before. I swear by them. So it's the Caviar CC Cream and then the Moroccan Oil Hydrating Style Cream. I just used these two before I blow dry my hair, and it blow-dries so well. For skincare, I feel like my skincare routine is not that exciting. Just because I use all the same brand. I use Jan Marini. Um, why am I getting out of breath right now? I use Jan Marini, which is a skincare brand my facialist recommended to me. And it's definitely pricey, but it has like changed my skin. I've never spent so much on skincare before, but like when I first started getting facials, he was just kind of like, you're just using a bunch of random products. And I wasn't really using them like how you're supposed to use them. So if you order from Jan Marini, you get like a whole system. So I get like the, um, it comes with like a face wash, vitamin C, two face creams, one stings when you put it on, and one's like an anti-aging, I don't, and then, um, an SPF. After I wash my face, I like to, before I like do my skincare, um, or continue my skincare, I like to have ice roll. I don't know if this is like what you're supposed to do. But for me, I don't want to use my roller on my face when it hasn't been washed, I guess. And then I don't want to use it with like all the product on. And I feel like the product soaks in so much better on my really cold skin. So this is how I do it. Um, I love this method. And I just try to ice roll for like five minutes. I'm just going to like go sit on the couch, look at my phone for like the first time where like I really look at it today because... My no phone roll, um, an ice roll. It's really good, obviously, to depuff. My face also stays so red after the gym for so long, and it also like increases blood flow circulation in your skin, which does a lot of good things. Don't ask me specifically what because I can't remember. I just know it's good to do, and it feels so good. I got this one on Amazon. I will link it below. I love it so much. So I'm gonna go ice roll. Finish my skincare, blow dry my hair, and then we will make breakfast. Also, because I started the day late today, um, like I said, if you guys want to see like a more my actual like class day morning routine, I can do that for you guys. Let me know. Um, but yeah, it's 11:40, so my Thursday, Friday mornings are more subjective. They end once I've eaten breakfast. And made my list of things to do for the day. That's when my morning ends. So just giving you guys a time check. Okay, I just got everything out to make baked oats. Um, besides the chocolate chips, I have to grab those still actually. But this is everything you put in the blender. Um, I will link the recipe I used below. Though I do modify a little bit. But it is just like, I think it's a half cup of oats. It says half a banana. I use a full one just because how do you save the rest of the banana these are small cinnamon baking powder your choice of milk i'm using this almond coconut this is my favorite almond milk in the world a little bit of salt a little bit of vanilla extract 
a little bit of peanut butter, an egg, and then I also add this Aura Organic, once again, not sponsored. I work with them on TikTok, but I will put my discount code below. I think it's 15 OK Cali or OK Cali 15. I'll put it below. Um, I use their... I use their vegan collagen boosting powder, so I'm using today, they have a chocolate one and a, pe a peanut butter one. Um, they also have vanilla, but today I'm going to mix chocolate and peanut butter, just one scoop of each. So there's collagen in, um, or collagen boosting powder. But yeah, I'm going to make these right now. They're so easy, and they're, it literally tastes like you're having dessert for breakfast. They're so good. I lied, I forgot the maple syrup that also goes in. Those are all blended, and I'm putting it in this adorable little Le Creuset ramekin. I will link it below. It's just, it makes me so happy to use. I got two of them. I just think it's the cutest thing in the whole world. So now... Just gotta pour it in here and then I'm just gonna stir in some chocolate chips. This literally took me five minutes to make. Like, I feel like it seems so complicated. Well, maybe it doesn't to you. To me, I mean, this is how I make my pancakes too. I've been making the banana pancakes forever, but I always am like, I don't wanna make baked toast, that's too much work, but it takes two seconds. <laughs> and it's so good. I'm gonna stir in some chocolate chips, put this in the oven. And yeah. I like to just sprinkle a few on top too. You know. This one's stuck. Alright, she's ready to go. I'll see her in 25 minutes. Alright, well those bake. Now is the time in the morning where I start to feel a little bit overwhelmed just because I it's getting later I know I have a lot to do and I feel like everything just buzzes around in my head of like everything I have to do and then I like start forgetting things and re-remembering it's just stressful so something that really helps me with this alongside of having a daily planner I like to have like a little to-do list pad and just write down everything I need to get done for the day and just check things off as I go and it makes my day go so much smoother and with someone with anxiety who likes routine it's just nice to have everything laid out there and like see okay I'm gonna do this at that time and this at that time and like it is so satisfying to check off so now while that bakes I'm going to start my to-do list this is my favorite 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 planning notepad it's not dated it's just like bunch of sheets um, I got it off Amazon I will link it below I just like I like everything about it I never really use the reflection part because I have like other notebooks and stuff to reflect in but I love how it has like today's focus and your to-do list but also you can make like a schedule if you want so it's very very good for me better now like my mind feels clearer now because I don't know if anyone else's brain works like this but I feel like when I know I have things to do my brain's like struggles so much and like forces me to hold on to them and puts it to the front of my head and everything's circling around but when I write it down I'm kind of like okay my brain doesn't need the responsibility of holding on to these thoughts anymore they're down on paper so I made a big to-do list um, I think right now I'm going to start on the to-do list because one of the first things is my favorite part of Thursday, which is deep cleaning the girls' litter box. Um, I use Crystal Pet Safe Litter, so especially with two cats, I have to deep clean their litter box once a week just because it doesn't, like, the pee doesn't clump, which is really nice, um, but obviously, like, it starts to smell after a week, so... I'm gonna deep clean that right now. What I basically do is just pour like vinegar and baking soda in the litter box after I like dump the litter in a trash bag. 
let that sit for a little bit and then um, I'll put like gloves on sometimes and, like scrub it if it needs it and then rinse and then put their new litter in and then I also my apartment just feels like it needs like a surface clean I do like a deep clean honestly probably more than once a week but I do like my big deep clean on Sunday but I just feel like things need to be dusted my desk needs to be like wiped down counters in stainless steel needs to be wiped down I vacuum every day because of Cleo and Luna they get fur everywhere but I just need to do like a big vacuum sesh so I'm going to get as much cleaning done as I can right now while my baked oats bake so we can check that off the list and then what else other big things I have to do today I've got to film a few what well, I'm probably going to film one brand deal today because one is due tomorrow the next one is due on Monday I think um I'm going to film one today and I think I'm also like for just like a regular TikTok to do something different, film like a little makeup routine. I feel like I haven't done that so I'm going to do that, at least not for a long time. What else do I have to do today? I have to edit this vlog. Um, I've got to run to Target. It stopped snowing so I think I am going to go to Target um, instead of just like the grocery store on the street because I need dishwasher detergent. But I figure why not just go to Target, you know? Um, and just like a bunch of other little things. I have to call my insurance. I have to make a doctor's appointment. I have to pay a dermatology bill. I have to call the new garage to secure a parking place. I need to email my school about some issues, about my evaluation that I have not received yet, for my internship. Um, yeah, just like a bunch of little things, but like those little things really build up and like I just want to not have them storming around my head anymore. I just want them done. So, all right, I'm going to go. I probably won't film myself deep cleaning the litter box because it's gross. I don't think anyone wants to see, but yeah. Okay, she is done. Note to self, next time do not put as many chocolate chips in because it's dripping down the edge a little bit. Also, side note, look at this spoon rest my mom got me. How cute is it? But I'm going to let those cool. I actually got a lot of cleaning done in those. It took 30 minutes to bake, actually. Oh, my God. It's almost 1 o'clock. Um, but I'm going to let those cool for a second and just take the trash out and wipe down surfaces. And then I actually pretty much got cleaning done already, which is good. All right. Everything is clean. Just have to take the trash out. I'm wearing my little Ugg platform slippers. I love these so much. Oh, my God. This whole time I've been talking to you guys, thinking I was recording, and then the screen went black. Anyway, what I was saying is I just poured a little juice glass, a little glass of juice. This is my favorite juice in the world, Natalie's. This is their blood orange juice. It's so good. And I like the mini bottles because sometimes I feel like I don't get through a whole big bottle in seven days before it goes bad by myself. So I like these little mini ones. Just took out my vitamins from multivitamin right now. I'm taking the Ollie Women's Multi. I just had these left over, the little gummies. Um, and then I take magnesium for anxiety and migraines. I take, this is the Good Skin All Day by Aura Organic as well. I'll link it below. I love this stuff. I swear I see the difference in my skin when I use it. Apple cider vinegar and ashwagandha, which is really good for anxiety and like mood stabilizing. And I really like, I finally got good about taking this again every day. And I do genuinely notice like a big difference in how I go about my day-to-day -day life when I'm actually good about taking this. So I'm gonna take all my vitamins right now. And yeah, I hate taking pills and I'm so bad at it. Oftentimes in the morning, I'll like literally gag my pills that I swallow back up. Ugh. Yeah, that one almost just came up. I also just can't even remember what I just took. Was it this one? Is it apple cider vinegar? That one went down okay. Kind of. Now we're taking our ashwagandha. I hate it because like I had to take two, ooh, two of each and like, I don't know. They're not super big but they're like little capsules. Okay. Okay, 
magnesium. This one's easy. And it's only one. And good skin day. Also some big capsules. Okay, we did it. Okay, finally time to eat. Here she is, and I think it's really good. If you take just like a little splash of almond milk on top. Ooh, a little bigger than a splash. I made a little bit of a mess, but hold on. Let's see if I can film my first scoop. It's literally like dessert for breakfast. Also, I probably didn't need to put as many chocolate chips, but yum. Okay guys, on this note, I'm gonna eat these. Read this, it's really good actually. I'm like only, what page am I on? Page 45, I got to page 45 this morning because it's really good, it's like picked up fast. So I'm gonna eat this, read, and end this vlog off here. Officially no longer morning, it is 1 p.m. Like I said, on my non-school days, mornings are a little bit more subjective. I, as I said, they end when I eat breakfast. Um, so I'm gonna end this off here because I've got a busy day ahead of me, things to film. I have Cece coming over later tonight, so I've gotta go pick up wine. I also think I only have one red wine glass right now, so I need to go pick up wine glasses. Um, yeah emails calls we've got a lot to do reading so thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to i will also link my instagram and tiktok below as well as my goodreads if you want to follow along and i'll link i'll try to remember to link everything i talked about i feel like i haven't been that good about linking so if i do forget to link something um and you don't see it below just comment and I will send the link over. Love you.